Good afternoon students, how are you? I hope all are well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about lung cancer. So if you're interested, please continue watching. So lung cancer is one of the most common and serious type of cancer. And uh, smoke contains several substances that are sarcinogens. And sarcinogen that is react directly or via breakdown products with DNA in epithelial cells to produce mutations and which are the first in a series of changes that lead to the development of a mass of cells. So what's the cell's name? That is epithelial cells. You must remember that. So as the cancer develops, it's spread through the bronchial epithelium and enters the lymphatic tissues in the lungs. So cells may break away and spread to other organs so that the secondary tumors become established. A tumor like this known as malignant tumor. What's the name of tumor? Malignant tumor. So lung cancer may be caused by air pollution or environmental pollution and coming in contact with pollutants like asbestos, arsenic, chromium, nickel, solid metal powder. So pneumonia and bronchitis causes are the or causes type of wound that uh, afterwards turn into cancer. That is also another reason for your cancer. And it says assumed that shortage of roughness in diet increases in possibility of disease. So you need to avoid fatty food or any burger junk food like a cheesy food you need to avoid that also increase your uh, cancer lung cancer sometimes lung cancer doesn't cause any signs or symptoms the sooner first stage symptoms of lung cancer are diagnosed and given treatment like more is the chance of living longer. So whenever you have a symptom, you need to go to doctor and diagnose. All right, then you, then you can take um, medicine, take therapy, then it will be recovered very quickly. Otherwise, you will not live longer. So primary symptoms, that is number one, long-lasting, long-lasting day, long-lasting. Number one, long-lasting, dry, irritating cough. Number two, that is chest pain. Number three, loss of appetite. Number four, that is gradually, day by day, loss of weight. And number five, that is fever. Number six, that is asthma and feel pain in bones and weakens. Sometimes it's paralyzed of any organ. So whenever you have symptoms, you need to diagnose. So your healthcare provider will ask you about your medical history, your family history, and physical exam, x-ray or CT scans, uh, MRI, and lab test like a, like a blood test and sputum test, that is mucus test, and biopsy of lungs. All right, so whenever you have diagnosed, so you need treatment, right? So surgery, that is fine, and chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radio, radiation therapy, that is also available nowadays. Lots of treatment available. You need to diagnose, you need to go to doctor if you have a symptoms. Don't stay at home and wait for, wait for die. So prevention, prevention is better than cure. So prevention, that is the abstaining from smoke and drinking, stop drinking alcohol. And number two, not taking excess fatty food and regular exercise and eat a healthy balanced diet and stay safe and stay healthy and live longer and do your and do something for for the world and do something for the world so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friend if you need more class go to my website www.advocateshop.simplesat.com that's all thank you very much